Hello guys, welcome to Ashley Last Us Show. We are going to be talking about the Umber Hulk. Um, the Umber Hulk on 5th edition we'll be talking about, uh, basically there are a, a large size insects. Uh, basically I have one right here that I'm painting for this week. Uh, every other, every week I'm going to have one monster that I'm actually painting and talk to you guys about it through the Pathfinder 5th edition. Today I'm going through the 5th edition. They have it on 5th uh, Pathfinder. They also have it on uh, 3.5 as well. Think of these guys as a large dung beetle, uh, but you know usually these animal uh, creatures are used in dungeons and caves by orcs and goblins or hop goblins. And use them in a pen, keep them in the pen because they are very vicious creatures, and they feed them scraps and other stuff that is not digestible to them, like bio waste as well. Uh, they basically will come attack. They have tremor sense of sixty feet, dark vision one hundred twenty feet. They are rarely seen in the Underdark, but usually they get killed by other stronger uh, monsters as well, like a giant or a huge spider that's about two or three times bigger than them, or by a mob of drows and so on as well. They're, they're actually being known, um, certain uh, creature use them to make armor from their carapace. Um, they need to have a very good armor class, they have a very good armor craft and weapon craft if you want to make armor weapon out of the carapace. It can be very fragile as well. They're usually a light class, uh, studded a high stud letter or high letter um, type, but it'll be lighter as well. But your mobility for it would be a lot less. This creature is very dumb. Has a negative one modifier uh, for it um, for their thing. They have a daze uh, that does one d eight per round. Uh, no, you have to make his charisma save of fifteen. The reason why I'm doing this is that I've been doing this every single time. I'm gonna hit the record button. The record video for uh, this morning wasn't that great, so I'm using the Yeti mic just to do all of this again. And here's page 292 for the Umber Hulk right here. Look at that beauty. Um, it's a very good creature to use in the beginning adventure, but they're very easy to kill during when you guys are like mid level as well. Group of three to four. Uh, for level two and three, it's a challenge rating of five. Uh, if you we have a level a group of two, uh, three to four level one characters, I would actually just put one on there unless you want to kill them off. His strength modifier is plus five. Once it gets a grip, uh, got a hold, Pike can rip the character in half easily. With a claw and a malleable attack. I'm gonna read the the description of this creature. An abominable horror from the deep uh, beneath the earth, an umber hulk burrows into cave complex dungeons or underdark settlements in search of food. Those lucky enough to survive an umber hulk attack often remember precious little of the incident thanks to the umber hulk's mind scrambling gaze. So yes, it scavenge, it will attack for food, it's just a mindless, in giant mindless insect, but a lot of other like orcs, goblins, hobgoblins, I mean, I bet Drows use them just to use them as trash bins. Uh, basically, I'm saying that's right now. But a lot of times, you know, if you guys go against this, set up traps, range, the, the melee in the end. Uh, other than that, if you're smart, grab if you, like me, have barrels of oil and a torch, and basically barricade it inside where it is with oil and while well, burning, cooking itself to, uh, alive, will do the trick. Will take probably several rounds but other than that it'll be one of the best things you can do but you will not you will not be able to get this carapace because it might be brittle by then because you're cooking the skeletal um armor that it's wearing right now the armor class 18 very high for lower level to use but it's a fun challenge a lot of times people would just leave them in the playpen or just keep shooting arrows out until it dies i guess but that's pretty much up to you of it so once a week i am going to go through one of these books what i'm painting talk to you guys about it hope this helps enjoy so if you can talk more about it, let me know comment down below subscribe like and i'll see you guys next week on monday and take care and have a nice day guys bye